All right, guys, you're back with Mark, TCG, and Whiskey here. I just wanted to tell you guys a little story that happened to me recently. So, as you know, I open a lot of older product on the channel, and UFC was always printed with tops. And I must have been the king of getting redemptions, expired redemptions from tops. Some guys no good, some guys really good. It was very mixed, but just almost every time I'd open something, it felt like maybe guys waited out or something, I don't know. But I had email tops, email tops, email tops, try to put in the codes. Nothing was working. I didn't get any response from them. I figured, well, it's not really their fault. It's my fault. It was expired. I get it. It was part of the rules. So I went online, did a little bit of searching, and I found someone saying that if you write them a nice letter, that they would send you out a care package kind of deal. So after a few months, actually, tops did write me. But I'd, I'd already done the paperwork, so I wrote a letter very recently telling them about how I'm a huge collector and a few of the cards would make a great piece of my collection and everything like that. I also collect soccer, so I tell them I still buy a lot of Topps products, which is true. I could open other things on the channel if wanted, but... So, basically they sent me this giant care package of all these guys because I sent them all the redemptions and filled it out, and then I just wanted to really say thank you to Tops. I know they probably don't watch my videos, but I'll show you guys what I got because it's pretty impressive. I, I don't even know all the guys I sent away, but some of these guys you guys might know very well, and some of them are a little older. You might not, but Phil Davis, fighter worn gear to 188. I mean, Phil was great back in the day. Matt Mitrione, a lot of guys still know Matt Mitrione. A little relic piece. So pretty nice, 82 of 88. I mean, Matt Mitrione. Demetrius Johnson, 4 out of 188. Matt Relic, I mean, Demetrius is still fighting. He's over one championship, but he's considered by many to be one of the greatest ever. He was. He wasn't my favorite, but no district. But this guy was amazing. It was unbelievable. You know, the problem was he didn't have a lot of competition back then. And then then they wanted to close the division. They Cejudo beat him. I'll be honest, I don't think Cejudo beat him. I thought it was a little closer than that, but whatever. Hi, right. Chris Weedman. Won't spend too much time, but Patch, 188. I mean, this is awesome patch right here. Came with last wedge, Camarita Patriot Pack, Mexico. It's beautiful. All right. Not numbered, but I, I doubt there's too many of these. Awesome looking patch. Kane still does wrestling, so still very relevant. People love Kane Velasquez. I didn't watch as much back then. I did watch, but I wasn't super, super into it. Jens Pulver, I mean, this guy was fun to watch, fought forever, nice auto patch, Let's see if this one's numbered, I don't think it is, oh yeah, look at that, one of one, Jens Pulver, I mean, that's awesome, that's truly awesome, so Jens Pulver, let's get this a little, Dominic Cruz, Big Dominic Cruz fan. I think he's one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. Just very cool. I didn't send them in to Dominic Cruz. I didn't send them almost any of these guys in. Honestly, I sent one booklet in that would have been amazing. It was like six female fighters, probably five of them going to be Hall of Famers. It was like Rousey, Nunez, Valentina, Joanna. But the other ones, there wasn't too many great guys, and they really hooked it up here. So Dominic Cruz. I mean, come on. Who doesn't like this guy? Brock Lesnar, Patch Auto. I believe this is numbered, but maybe not. All right, not number 2011. Tops title shot though. I mean, how cool is that? Brock Lesnar. I don't want to give away the next guy here. I mean, that's awesome. It's going right in the personal collection. 
And look at this. Come on. TJ Dillashaw Museum Collection 7 of 8. Triple Patch Auto. I mean, we just saw what TJ is still capable of. The guy's unbelievable. I'm not even going to flip this over. I don't want to spoil the last guy. I'll go give a little slow roll. Well, you don't need too much slow roll. Then they sent me John Jones, Patch Auto. I mean, 7 of 25, 2011. Just awesome. I mean, I have a John Jones autograph collection. I have a couple of his, bunch of his rookie cards and stuff like that. Big fan of Jones. I mean, big fan of Dillashaw, too. And listen, if you didn't watch when Brock was around, you thought maybe this guy was just WWE. No way. This guy was champ. This guy was formidable in there. You didn't want to just get in there. He was so big. It was unbelievable. It was amazing to watch. Go back and watch some of his fights. He lost his first fight, I believe, in the UFC. Got caught in like an arm bar or something like that. And then that was it. He was unbelievable. And like I said, John Jones, I mean, just, it was awesome. I just wanted to go over that with you guys. I probably sent them about six. And you can see they gave me back more than six. Like I said, one was a booklet. But other than that, these are probably better than what I would have received from them. I just want to tell you guys that story in case you guys are holding on to some old redemption cards. Send them a letter. They really hooked it up. Got to appreciate Tops for this. It's a good move. All right, thanks for joining me. I'll see you.